Hi, welcome to our tutorial on managing multiple projects. I'm going to take you through how to create a group and move your projects into that group, how to access the group dashboard, status reporting and roadmap for that new group of projects and some of the other features that come with managing multiple projects inside the system. So you'll see I'm on my All tab and my Projects uh, sub-tab here and in the middle screen you'll see all my list of open projects. You could of course change this filter to any of the other statuses of your projects or view all of your projects in a list. I'll change that to all so we can see all my projects. On the left hand side are my folder tree structure for my groups. I have one group there. Let's create a new group. I can do this two ways. I can go to the new group icon here and click on that or on the all uh, main folder. If I click there it also gives me the option to create a new group. So we'll hit new group and see it creates a new icon, a new folder for me. Let's name this group A. The use for groups of course could be uh, you might want to group your projects by departments or teams within your organization or perhaps uh, by status of your projects or um, type of project. So now that group is created, if I click on it you'll see there's nothing in there because I haven't moved any projects. So if we go back to the all, I can move any of my projects into that group. So very lots of easy ways to do this. You can select them and then click the move icon. When I do that it brings up a list of all of my groups that I can choose. So there's group A that I just created, so I've moved those. I can also click and drag these projects straight across. You'll see they've moved out of my all. And now when I go to group A, those three projects have moved across. And again, moving them back out into your main folders are just as easy. Simply click or drag them across. Now that I have a group, when I click on it and I see the projects within it, I can use the search button to search for a project if I have a large list. I can also, of course, from here edit my project information. I can delete that project if I need to. As well as, as always, there are export buttons throughout the system and here I could export uh, this group information. To access now the group features, I need to open this group in its own tab. So you just go to the new tab on the top right hand side and you'll see this is where you normally would create a project or open an existing project. It's also as the third option the way that you open your group. So you'll see those are the groups I have. We just create a group A. So I'll click on it to open it. And now it's defaulting to the roadmap view and I have my three projects in my group showing here. So at a glance I can see there are three Gantts. I can drill down into this information. I can see my grouped projects, their plans lined up uh, one on top of each other. And as with the roadmap under your All tab, you can filter this information to change your view and of course add any extra columns that you have on your task page to this view. So you might want to view your risks, issues and changes for all of your projects in this group. You simply add those columns and you'll see them here. Uh, it's a nice easy way to view the information across all the projects in your group. And you might have noticed up the top now I have a tab for this group. It works just like the project tab. You can close it and then of course to reopen it you'd go to the new uh, tab again. Also under the group tab is the group dashboard. So that's the icon on the left here and it works just like your project dashboard except it's showing the health and status of that group of projects. So you can see here for example on time uh, these two projects are both behind on schedule. I can see the budget uh, and costing information for my projects side by side as well as their t overall task progress and uh, down the bottom there aren't any risks, issues or changes on the projects I've chosen. So these graphs are not populated but there are step-by-step -step instructions on how I would add uh, risks, issues or changes to any of those projects. I can jump also to the reports section under this group tab and here there is a new report, the group status report. So this works like the portfolio report that you may have used under the all tab where you can choose to sort by the project name, percentage complete, start or finish dates as well as of course choose which of the columns you want to show in your report. We can select all. Uh, the same export options you'd expect to see where you can view the report online, 
email a PDF or export directly to PDF, Excel or Word. And let's choose to view this. So I simply click the view button and the group status report comes up. And you'll see there's the health chart for my three projects in this group, as well as all the information that I selected on the columns, uh, the plan start and finish dates, the tasks that are complete and not yet started, budget remaining, all of that information that you'd want uh, across all of those projects in your group. And of course, because you have this report section in your group tab, it's very easy now to go to any of the other reports and pull those for the projects in your group. And lastly, on the right hand side is the info tab, just like the project info, you can enter a description here of this group and uh, perhaps the team members or the manager of that team, whatever is relevant to that group. Before we go, I'll just show you the workload grid. Uh, so of course this is under the group, so it's showing me my resources working on that group of projects, their allocation, and as with the normal workload grid, I can click on any of these days and see what tasks my resources are assigned to and the amount of time they're assigned. So this again is a good way to view for a group of projects whether your resources are over or under allocated, and uh, those resources of course might not be people, they could be plant machinery, perhaps meeting rooms, or other resources that your projects are using. So we've gone through how to create a project group, how to move projects between groups and into any new groups that you create, how to view the project group status report as well as a project dashboard and roadmap. Uh, if you've got any questions or issues with grouping multiple projects together, please contact us in the support team or access the help on the top right hand side. Thanks.